This is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot at PrinterBot.com and I'm demonstrating here uh, the new upgrade pack that we have that replaces the belt clip. Now you can see uh, hanging here an older bot. We had a printed belt clip at one time and it went like that. And uh, two simple screws and bolts, nuts, uh, you can just unscrew this and take this out. The reason we don't print anymore is laser cut's a little more exact and it's f by far faster for me to produce. So the, the easy one I want to demonstrate here, and this is everything you get in the pack. Um, here we have for the front clip, we have two pieces and these fit together like this. And It could be tight, you know, this is tight, so you might have to squeeze lightly tap uh, to get these in there perfectly. I always like to hear a little pop and it, you hear that squeak so you know it's nice and tight. Now this is going to simply go in here. Uh, it's just going to replace what was here with this. The open will be on the inside. So I'll show you how that goes together. These are three quarter inch screws, 632. Theoretically, you could replace these with other screws that were of equal length. Oops. Now these uh, hex nuts fit in these slots. I like to just hold one with my hand as I feel it grab and I just get that finger tight. For now, put the other one in, make sure it's aligned. There it goes. Now I like to line it up with the front there. And then really, you know, snug it down pretty tight. Now if you over tighten, you may hear a little squeaking as it sucks this wood up and it rubs past on that tight a little square hole for the tab to go in. So I've installed this front wood cut, laser cut, and I'm just going to thread the belt through. And sometimes this, uh, this belt goes through pretty nice right now. Uh, I've had people comment that it's tight. That's a good thing. And on the front clip, um, you just really want to, sometimes I use a needle nose pliers so I can really grab that nice and snug. And I get that there. And then I actually zip tie that so it, it doesn't move. All right? Now I'm going to show you the other parts. And this is the back. This is new. These are actually going to be thumb screws. And the one, uh, we actually have a glued piece now. I, I thought about doing, um, you know, making it all with nuts and screws, but this just really works really well. A little bit of super glue around the edge there. And then that lines up. Just a few seconds holding that together and that'll be good to go. I'll do the other one. Sometimes I glue my fingers together here, which is never fun. Now these are octagons, and you'll notice that the the hex nuts are hexagons. I can feel the glue grab my fingers. So that's going to go in there, and it's going to suck down to the bottom. And these were these are going to go at the at the outside at the back. I'll show you exactly how they install. I just want to get these pressed in there for now. There we go. And again, those will suck down to the bottom once we start tightening. Now the way I've laid this out, so this is how it um, actually does go together. This is similar 
to the front, but a little cleanup is required here. Okay. This is going to go in there. And again, yes, it's tight and it's intentionally tight. The, you know, if, if they were loose, it wouldn't be as rigid. Now, this one only has one half inch with a 6, 632 half inch with a hex nut. And so you can put this together right here before you even install it. And again, you might hear a little squeaking and pulling while that kind of sucks it up nice and tight. All right. And then we're going to turn this around. This is an old bot that I had on the bot farm. I was getting a little tired. And it's time to upgrade, so I'm going to take the old belt clip off. I like to just leave the belt attached and it's easier to get off. Once it's totally loose. Okay, take the belt out, alright the belt is out. Now, this is actually going to attach with, we've got three quarter inch screws instead of half, so I'll put the half inch aside. And now this is going to stick out from the back a little bit, see how it protrudes, but we need that extra um, space. So that was intentional. Two six thirty twos on three quarter. Three quarter inch six thirty twos and six thirty two hex nuts. I'm going to get those nice and snug. Now you could hold these with pliers, but I find that it grips the wood enough that these 632 hex nuts, actually you can just hold them with your finger. Now the fun part. So, I'm going to pull this nice and tight. And here's how this is going to work. So, this is actually going to go like this. But first, we're going to pull this through. And it might take you a couple times to get the, the length right. But I figure that's about right for now. So I'm going to pull that up. And I'm going to put these notches. It's like this perfect fit with the belt. See how that goes in? just nice and perfect and it actually even fits the corner see how nicely that fits in the corner so that's how it's going to be so I've just fitted it there and there's no there's no give so I'm going to actually go down another notch I can try two notches I want to get it the very right There, you see how that works? It's really nice. Now I feel like if I tighten that, yeah, that's going to be great. And so we're going to take and thread from the back, but before we put it in there, we don't want that screw to turn or require a screwdriver, so we've got a little number six lock washer. 
So put the number six lock washer. It's a little bitty thing. Put that on the screw first. These are inch and a half. Number six. And you'll notice that you'll really need to cut that belt off there once you get it all settled. Oops. You're going to want to uh, cut that belt off, but I'm not going to do it yet. Just in case I have my uh, measurement wrong. Alright, looks like it's about right. So now that I have my thumb screws, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my long screw to go ahead and uh, I'm going to use my drill. And I'm going to suck that down. So you see how it pulled it down inside? That's really something that uh, you want to do before. Whoops, I did it backwards. <laughs> okay, yeah, from the back. that great and now to adjust that belt tension here it's just going to require a thumb screw loosen that while I align this use this one to pull that nut down whoops There we go. Now I can cut this off, zip tie the front, and I'm done. And already it's working beautifully. You want to look at how parallel you can see that it's not quite parallel so I want I want that to be parallel with this right here and then I'll snip this off so there we have the belt tensioner with two thumb screws it's at the back so um, it's nice and hidden and that'll be able to, you know, as your belt stretches uh, you'll be able to adjust that really easily can't even see it there so it's out of the way and now to adjust the tension I can just use my thumbs and that belt is is beautifully tight right now so there you have it, the new belt clips and belt tensioner.